Well, hello, dudes, dudettes, duders, and everyone in between, and welcome to a field report. That's right, we just finished building our home studio, and of course the first thing I want to do is not film a frame in there. So tonight we're going out on location to shoot something called Babylon Cabaret. Babylon Cabaret is a burlesque show, and we are incredibly proud to be associated with them. I started shooting for them years ago. I was doing stills at first, then they bumped me up to videographer, then they bumped me up to paid videographer, and if you know anything about the world of independently produced burlesque shows, getting bumped up to paid anything means a lot. The venue we'll be filming at is the historic El Cid on Sunset. And the first thing you might think when you hear historic is austere, beautiful, uh, an institution. It's all of those things, of course, but historic also means that there are gonna be like five or six outlets in the entire building, and those outlets are being used to power the PA system, the lighting system, the soundboard, and we've gotta find a couple of outlets that we can use that will not blow up the entire building. That means we'll be bringing about a quarter mile of extension cord so that we can pull from the exact boxes that we need to pull without blowing any fuses. For this shoot, our A camera will be the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K, and our B camera will be the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Because El Cid gives us a stereo feed, I'm taking two XLR cables and we'll be plugging them directly into a Zoom H6. One of the things I very often forget to do is double check that there is an SD card inside the recorder. Hooray, there is. With all the gear pulled, there's nothing left to do but copy Quentin Tarantino with this shot and load the gear into the trunk. When we're shooting for Babylon Cabaret, we tend to get pretty busy setting up cameras and, you know, filming the actual event, so there isn't that much time for behind the scenes footage. All we have to show now are shots from the actual performances. The client delivers this footage to their patrons in 1080p, which gives us a lot of latitude with the camera settings. Short version, we shoot at 30 frames per second and keep the shutter at 180 degrees. Because it's artificial lighting at the venue and a wide mix of different brand LEDs and tungsten lights at that, we don't touch the shutter angle once we find one that's flickering free. We try to stick to native ISO as much as we can and the Black Magics are dual native ISO meaning that they function best at 400 or 1250. If we were using 1.8 lenses we might have just barely gotten away with 400 but that was a bit too dark so we went straight to 1250 and left it locked there. This means that ISO and shutter angle were locked during filming, so the only thing we could change to adjust exposure was the iris. On the 6K, we had Canon's 70-200mm 2.8 lens, and on the 4K, we were using the Olympus 12-40mm 2.8. These lenses pair really well for a multicam shoot. It might seem like there's a bit of a jump between the 12 to 40 and the 70 to 200 lenses, but remember that the 4K camera is micro four thirds, and that crop makes this lens act like a 24 to 80 millimeter lens. This means that the Olympus lens fully zoomed in is almost the same shot as the Canon lens fully zoomed out. Between the two cameras, we have a full range of zoom, from a shot that catches all the action on the stage to an extreme close-up. The lenses we were using were both 2.8 fully opened up and we started around there but bumped them down to 3.6 about halfway through filming. This is something to watch for in burlesque. When the performer is wearing clothing, they might be exposed properly, but more often than not, skin reflects more light than cloth, and it looked like we were clipping towards the end of some of the performances, particularly when the performer was fairer skinned. For Kodak, we were using ProRes. There were several reasons for this. The first is the Byzantine maze of rules regarding resolutions and sensor crops that come with the Blackmagic Pocket cameras when shooting RAW. When we shoot for ourselves, we know what to expect with those rules and how to work around them. When we're handing footage off for the client to do post themselves, we like to give them more standard files, all in the same resolution, and frame rate, and codec, and all needing the same LUTs. Also, because we're not using Blackmagic RAW, the client doesn't need to install any plugins. We shoot Ultra HD because it's the same aspect ratio as what they're finishing to, which is 1080p, but allows them the option of digital zooms if they need to catch some of the sweet, sweet cabaret action a bit closer than we filmed it. Because we know that they'll be finishing to a quarter of the size we're filming at, we can shoot ProRes LT. Audio is much simpler. We record six feeds, one on each camera with a Rode NTG shotgun mic, one stereo signal from the back of the room, and two XLR feeds from the stereo mix coming out of the board. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, scoot your boot over to BabylonCabaret.com and check out all the wild and wonderful fun to be had on the LA burlesque scene. Like a petrified dinosaur egg, it can't be beat.